kunigongea mtoto he's now this way akaenda scot free nothing has been done so far ye mali yuko ako tu sawa anaendelea na life yake mtoto wangu ako hivi unaona at some point mi nilikuwa nimesema nimemforgive but by the ukiangalia mi ndo mforgive sawa but it's like punishing my son for not getting justice unaona hata pia yeye nilijiambia one day anaweza niuliza mom what did you do kwa mtu, for kwa hiyo police alinigonga mm. unaona condition ya mtu fulani aliumia mm. alikuwa paralyzed from here so from her from her? here downwards i feel chochote he can't feel hata ukimchuna you can even pinch him he can't feel so from evil vyote mtoto wako paralyzed mm, nako paralyzed huko tu ndio tusema ako hai but from here huko a feel eh. he can't control his stool he can't control his urine he's always in pampas as you can see no no umekavalisha diaper eh diaper lazima avae diaper Jina I'm Maureen Razo. I'm the mother of this boy, Ryan Ochieng. Uh, he was involved in an accident in the year 2015 October 14th, October 2015. He was just he had just come from school. Nika nika pick kutoka kwa school bus. Then nilikuwa na business just around here. Nika pick nikakaa na yeye since I didn't have a house girl. So that fateful evening the the dad came to pick him when they ku stroll tu na mtoto mm. as I was busy at work. So like 30 minutes after 30 minutes he called me. Na nikisikia background kuna makelele anakata simu. Nika call back. Tena nasikia tu makelele like commotion. Mm. So when he called tukaelewana nilikasikia nduru kwa background na akaniambia mtoto amegongwa na gari that was like after 30 minutes so nikalia nikashangaa mtoto ametoka hapa saa hii what happened ametoka hapa akiwa sawa actually ndio alikuwa tu ametoa uniform nikamchange ndio akamkujia hata 10 minutes haikuisha so vile aligongo it's not far from here ni within the estate yes hapa tu within the estate not far from here so they took the boy to nearby hospital a private hospital nearby So after that waka mu examine sio waka mdunga pain killer but they didn't know the level of the injury tuka tuka transferiwa tupeleke mtoto mama Lucy sasa kwa hiyo scene tukiwa hapa private hospital nikaona police were there kumbe the accident was caused by a GK hmm. car and it, it it's a police who hit him hmm. so witnesses who sema at the police was over the phone atigonga mtoto o oh, police So aligongwa na gari ya GK. A GK yes. Na na polisi alikuwa na simu. Yes, he was on call. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the witnesses wenye walikuwa hapo, mm-hmm. though Miss kukua, mm-hmm. even the dad said polisi alikuwa anaongea na simu. Mtoto walikuwa na babake. Eh. Babake anasema anga nini? Kuhusu kuhusu huyo polisi. So alisema after that akasema vile alikuwa amegongwa alikuwa sijui they wanted to go so ndio members of the public ndio wakagather ndio kelele commotion walikuwa nasikia kwa background mm. ndio watu wakaleta shida ndio polisi akambeba akampeleka hospitali mm-hmm. this dust that, just a nearby private hospital huo polisi unamjua jina yes his And name is Douglas Gidinji Douglas Gidinji yes. kutoka post gani gigiri he's oh. a, actually is a diplomatic police so after after tumeenda mama Lucy mm-hmm. mama Lucy wakaona hata hawataweza ka transfer yao to Kenyatta. Kenyatta he was admitted mm. at he had a limb fracture this leg. Mm. Ilikuwa imevunjika somewhere here. Mm. So akadmitiwa for a month to ah. to correct the fracture. My boy was in a very critical conditions by day. Sorry to say so but some nurses were saying he won't make it. No no he was on catheter tumbo ina fura I was paka nilikuwa afraid kulala naona tu katoto kangu maybe nikilala ndapata kamenda kamenda he was so bad he was on drip hakuli kumbe sasa hiyo tumbo kufura hivyo ni hiyo hiyo spine ndio ilikuwa inaleta a control aezi control susu wanamwekea katheta kumbe the spine ndio ilikuwa shida mm. mm. tukiwa ward ndio nika notice other kids the other legs are moving wenye walikuwa wamevunjika saa huu wangu nika notice hii mguu mwingine haimove i asked the nurse 
nasa akasema ni explainia daktari akikuja then after daktari came nikamu explainia ndiye akasema tufanye MRI we went to do the MRI ndiye mm. katoa kumbe time of accident mtoto aliumia spinal cord so after that tukaambiwa hiyo spinal cord limeumia mm. it has a condition called edema so kenyata tukaambiwa hiyo edema since he's a young kid the edema will just vanish itaisha peke yake nafsi zirudi the boy okay na anze kutembea na anze kutembea that that's the hope that we were given at kenyata hospital eh. so tuka discharge tukaanza kutafuta therapy actually tulienda kenyata the same same kenyata therapy for for like two, three months mm. there was no change hiyo mm. time bado tulikuwa na babake we were together actually we were married mm. tuka tu tu ndio walikuwa first born aya tukajaribu smart life kuna smart life kuna hospital ni halingam smart life they do therapies with patients with such conditions mm. for spinal injuries mm. we tried there tuka, tukajaribu some medication za ku boost nerves nothing was working mm. but kenyata you know kenyata they gave us hope the Achim nerves will come atatimu. back just do physiotherapy that is the word that they gave us so tukajaribu tukajaribu kuna hata physiotherapist alikuwa anakujadi kwa nyumba aya kufika 2016 ali hapo 2016 tukaanza kukuwa na issues za nyumba the father najua tu issues za wanaume kaanza kaanza kuwa violent ulevi unfaithfulness now my condition ya mtoi wangu plus ku handle issue hizo issues zake it was so it was a burden to me so ikafika mali it became worse paka mtoi sometimes akikuja kwa nyumba na ako drunk hiyo kisirani unaona ako maybe ako na depression zake of which sijui sitaki kumuongelelea but he became so violent and i saw condition ya mtoi it needed peace of mind ukisema violent una maanisha alikuwa anakuchapa yes yeah he became so violent so i decided for the sake of my kid and i need peace me mwenyewe na need peace i was young at that time by the way so nika decide ku, ku leave you ningeka hapo maybe hata tungeuana ama tungefanyana kitu mbaya juu uko mm. na pain kwanza niko na pain ya mtoto plus sasa pain ya mwanaume ananiekea so nika decide let me leave nika nika nikatoka nikatafuta nyumba just around where i used to work shop by then na uza i use, i i sell second hand clothes mm-hmm. yeah just nearby mm. so when i talk up to now actually the the dad akwai show up both financially support zero yes mm-hmm. yeah and i said people are telling me mpeleke fida nini but i said no wezi lazimisha mtu ku kulea mtoto wake An, anajua condition ya mtoto actually ende alikuwa na mtoto wa kigongo so kama ame decide ku, ku stay away due issues za nyumba punishing the kid of because of our differences mm. it's okay mm. so nikaachana na hey, hivyo i've been na soul therapy nini nimetembea paka kijabe unaona i've never involved him mm. si kwai timpigia simu nataka medication ama nini cause mm. si anajua condition ya mtoto mm. he knows where to find me he knew my shop actually nikifungua shop bado tulikuwa pamoja hata mtoto wako wa migongo aya uh, so after nime try by the way nimeenda kijabe nime try ndio last year mm. a friend of mine akani refer kwa another doctor mm. uh, in parklands mm. he's an indian surgeon mm. Sp- he deals with spinal injuries mm. only So I went there daktari ka request na turudie MRI ndio ajue saa hii spine ya mtoto ikoaje akawa tukafanya MRI nikatafuta pesa nikaende MRI it's a bit expensive those MRIs mm. uh, the, the, the results came out na mm. daktari akasema there's hope for this boy to walk mm. even if it has taken that long mm. Kenyatta could have told us what to do hiyo surgery ingefanywa hiyo time ya accident angekuwa sawa angekuwa sawa mm. by now mm. although sasa si god's time maybe mm. mungu aliamua hivyo but akasema it's not too late the boy is still young we just look for funds aende india fanywe hiyo stem cell transplant 
sasa mimi sina maidea mimi odo crazy odo wanasema ni pesa ngapi okay surgery the, the hospital needs uh, 1.2m so plus hizo za ticket hizo miscellaneous mm. eh, but e, but mm. bill ya hosini 1.2 ebu niambie mm. baba huyu mtoto hajakuwa supportive kutoka accident ifanyike ama from which year hajakuwa supportive since 2016 tangu to separate but before to separate alikuwa supportive ebu ni describe condition ya mtoto sai aya condition ya mtoto aliumia mm. alikuwa paralyzed from here so from her from here downwards i feel chochote he can't feel hata ukimchuna you can even pinch him he can't feel so from ebu vyote mtoto wako paralyzed mm, ako paralyzed huko tu ndio tusema ako hai but from here huko i feel eh. he can't control his stool he can't control his urine he's always in pampas as you can see no no umekavalisha diaper eh diaper lazima avae diaper eh you to me diapers like five a day because mm, sometimes akienda shule lazima upack upack diapers za teachers kum change mm. mm. so sai makojo yake ni non stop ni non stop it just drips mm. non stop yes rudi hapa kwa igari ya polisi mm-hmm. mlienda mkaandikisha ripoti na mliambiwa nini after huu mtoto amekasema amego, amegongwa na gari ya polisi okay. mliandikisha ripoti okay now about the 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 accident mm-hmm. babake ndiye alikuwa everything there is the key like i told you earlier jiye ndiye alikuwa na mtoto mi si, si kwa si kwa kwa scene mm-hmm. yeye ndiye alikuwa na mtoto then so after like today ndio mtoto aligongwa kesho yake he went to buruburu to report mm. akaandikisha statement of which i have i have it mm. akapewa ob of which niko nayo ob number number plate ya gari tuko nayo it's gk 818e mm. mm. uh, the police who hit the, the my son his name is Douglas Gudinchi now after tumetoka hosi babake tried by the way before we separated akaenda hadi haipoa haipoa knows the case haipoa they have your case yes they mm-hmm. know mm-hmm. hata i talked to one of them ni lini akiniambia tana nitafutia lawyer mm. then amenyamaza mm. haya kuna time after to separate you know after hiyo time nikitoka kwa babake i tried to gather some information and some documents concerning my son nikapata namba ya mtu haipoa anaitwa Anis yes nikampigia akaniambia ndia nisaidia that was 2018 at your case ji mekawia ni mtafutie pesa ya fuel ya kuje buruburu angalie kama bado yo case iko that's what he told me <laughs> aya kitu kingine aliniambia ati kama tunaweza meet in the evening tuongee your story ni so, mwanaume yes mm. sasa mimi i shared with my sister unajua pia watu ukisikia story ya polisi watu wakaniweka uoga at eh unaweza uliwe wacha mtoto wako yeye achana na sasa na hiyo story ya mapolisi mm. mm. cuz first he was asking for money ati ndio akuje akuje buruburu ndio angalia kama hiyo kesi iko so i was wondering sio ni kazi yake why should i give him money mm. haya akaniambia ati kama hiyo file haiko kama iko sijui DCI juba kuna time babake aliambia hiyo file iko Kiambu road mm-hmm. but i should look for 20000 my dear me I, i didn't have that cash to give out ni usiji faida ya mtoto wangu itafutwe mm. so some people advised me something to do with case za karau watakuzungusha ukule pesa na kuna justice type na ukiendelea hivyo anaweza kukua so mimi being emotionally weak my tume separate na babake mtoto wangu ako hivyo mm. no change i'm trying everything nothing is working nikaamua acha niachane na hiyo case by the way the only thing i said even about the dad ni maachia mungu wenye walinigongea mtoto ni maachia mungu and even the dad kama al decide to to Kukua. distance himself from the boy nimemwachia mungu by the way me that is what i said and i've been always strong by the way nikitembea huku nje people nikiambia mtu story ya huyu mtoto people don't believe us amanga eh hey, razo akiwe you are strong that's the first comment people tell me you are strong ni nini ukupea hiyo nguvu 
Mimi huko. Okay, I don't know. Even my sister mwenye sa we she's always there for me. You mm. niambie ingekuwa yeye angekuwa alijua kitambo angeteka. But Mimi I'm always smiling. Na mtoto wangu you can see he's eh. very jovial. Eh, eh. Eh, uki, kuna time sasa vile before nifunge shop mm. nilifunga tu shop juzi. Kwa nini ulifunga? Juu ya the rent was too much na hii corona kuna biashara. Unalipanga aje? Nilikuwa nalipa 10,000. Mm-hmm. Mm. So nilifunga tu juzi hata ma- one month mm. ndio inaisha I guess. Mm. So nimekuwa nikibeba mtoto wangu tukienda kwa shop. So sometimes when I carry my boy people say eh wewe yeye unashindana kumebeba huu mtoto mkubwa unaona others think ni ile tu love na shindana nimembeba since the time of of accident I've been carrying him hata nambeba kuna time nambeba kwa mgongo nikimpeleka shule before he became unajua sasa hii ni mkubwa na nishinda uzito but I've been carrying him everywhere mm. people sometimes wale wanakuangalia wanasema eh hey, mbona unabeba hiki kitoto kikubwa na jambia tu so first I, I used to feel bad mm-hmm. nasema eh hey, where are these people commenting this way I, I used to feel so bad but nikaomba nika, nikasema they don't know what they are saying they mm. don't know by mm-hmm. there when someone tells me a negative comment i used to forgive them nasema ni vile hawaju hawajui na tamani ashuke atembeni vile hawaezi hawaezi mm. ebu nikulize sweetheart doctors washa recommend wheelchair ama kitu unaweza tumia ndio yes ah. even at kijabe actually mm. we went at kijabe mm. kijabe wakasema this condition can't be reversed wakani cancel wakaniambia mama that day i cried cj any that is the second time i cried if, na uchungu hivyo after the first time i cried na uchungu hivyo nilikuwa sikuniliambua amegongwa that's why receiving such news i had hope my son will be okay again kijabe they told me my dear accept things the way they are the other hospitals they have been lying to you as we tell the truth The truth of the matter is this condition can't be reversed so accept things the way they are and look for a wheelchair your boy will never walk again my dear i cried yo kijabe nililia ungedhani msaa mtoto wangu amekufa i cried i cried i cried later on by the way usi kupaka nilisema god hate me paka nikasema sitawai yomba sitawai rudi church but later alone nika heal by then miss g your heart nilitoa wapi nika heal nikasema no let me try again ndio nikapata huyu sajoni wa india i had given up hiyo siku ndio nilisema i'll not try anything else i used to tell people i'm not ready to see my son on a wheelchair by the way ndio kitu jaifa imefanya paka sasa hivi sijawahi shughulika na wheelchair yani uko na faith yes paka mtu ananiambia sijui si nikupeleke kwa theuri kuna wheelchair zinapea noangwa me i used to say no Wacha ni mbebe hivyo nijidanganyange tu nikukabeba nimekabeba mm. but i can't stand by that up to now i can't stand see Ryan on a wheelchair mimi sijui hiyo siku itakuwaaje mm. 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 i can't stand nione mtoto nilizaa akiwa poa he was walking running all over ati on a wheelchair na msukuma but kama nilijambia kama god even ya ame allow when that when ta- that time it reach i'll accept mm. but for now no for now no no for now nilikataa kabisa sitatafuta mm. wheelchair mm. you was even going to a, just a normal school mm. just around before going the school that he was attending but nikaona unajua sasa hiyo si special school kum change diaper sometimes akirudi like he is wet you know they they can't change him nini ikabidi nimtafutie special school it's very expensive ni pesa ngapi pata 23 Patam. Mm. Mm. 23k mm. Patam. Mm. Ebu nikuulize nataka uangalie ile kamera. U polisi mwenye alikugongea mtoto penye yako ungetaka kumwambia nini? At least unajua accident happens. I'm also human. Unaweza gonga mtu by the way si kupenda kwako. Maybe accident iko angi intentional, but at least ange show tu ile ile concern tu unaona but kunigongea mtoto he's now this way akaenda scot free nothing has been done so far ye mali yuko ako tu sawa anaendelea na life yake mtoto wangu ako hivi unaona at some point mimi nilikuwa nimesema nimemforgive but by the way ukiangalia mimi ndamforgive sawa but it's like punishing my son for not getting justice unaona hata pia yeye nilijiambia one day anaweza niuliza mam 
what did you do kwa mtu, for kwa hiyo police aligonga mm. unaona pia hata kuwa happy wanda akiwa mkubwa asikie yes aligongwa na karau na kuna kitu nilifuatilia ama nikafanya mm. unaona yes kwa hiyo hata mjai enda kotini kushtaki kwa enda kotini but file iko obi namba iko now about hiyo story ya case let me go back there kidogo mm. Mm. After there is a time after to me separate with the dad mm. I tried kufuatilia kivi yangu unaona juni muona mwanaume ashughuliki nishaenda pako ombudsman ombudsman waka respond wakasema they can't handle cases zimekawia unaona nika call Mr Rono of Nairobi area I had his number mwenye alikuwa na handle case ana handling case uh, traffic accidents mm. akaniambia Walita tulita huyo Mr Otieno now Mr Otieno is the dad mm. tulita Mr Otieno tukakaa nae chini tukaelewana yeye alikuwa na makosa tukafunga kesi unaona that is what he told me hey, i felt so bad actually you will feel so bad we kama mama nika call now the dad nikamuliza ni nini nasikia ya akasema hakuna kitu kama hiyo what they did they called him there na Rubieri akakubali aliitwa na kuitwa walikuwa wakamkalisha in a room room and they were over 20 policemen that is what he told me they were over 20 policemen wakamkalisha katikati wakaanza kumintimidate kumuinterrogate na wakamwambia awachane na hii kesi ama yeye ndiye atashtakiwa ati yeye ndiye aliachilia mtoto agongwe makosa ni yake that is what he told me mm. yeah and uh, recently when i asked him are you ready to testify that what they they, they threatened you akasema mm. yes ana shida mm. but wali threaten pia yakaongopa kufatana na hiyo kesi mm. unaona akasema eh karao angeniua mimi nili, niliogopa nikawacha mm. so pia mimi kufika hapo now police mwenye anaando hiyo kesi akikwambia tulifunga kesi my dear utafanya nini mimi sina uwezo wa kufatana na serikali ati mlinigongea mm. mtoto hapo ndio nili decide acha niachie Mungu. Mm. Eh, na sikuwa mm. tena. Mm. Na nyinyi mko na witness huyo polisi alikuwa kwa simu. Yeah, there there are witnesses. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mtoto wako anapenda ni nini kanapendanga kufanya? games na cartoon hey, ukajua mmeja tunombeleza akaya hapa hey, na hii game eh hey. games na cartoon mm. mm. hata sometimes sasa time ile maybe weather is too bad ama na feel juu si kila siku nilikuwa na mbeba kumbele kuna time nimechoka yani na feel hiyo kumbeba daily na choka kabisa ananishinda so kuna time naweza tu mdanganya abaki hapo so, na vile mmemfuata mm. abaki The TV is always on cartoon 24/7. Mm. Yes. Mm. Ongea na wakenya mami. Okay. I'm appealing to Kenyans to kindly well wishers. Mwenye mnaguzwa na kesi ya huyu mtoto. Mumsaidie aweze kupata usaidizi. He has to go to India for for surgery. It's a bit expensive and the doctor said he might need two two to three surgeries. This is just the first the first one we are going to try. So I'm appealing to you uguzwe Mungu awaguze, msaidie Ryan katembee tena. Vile mnakaona mnaweza dhani kakosa but akaezi aamka hata akaezi songesha hii Mungu. So mkasaidia yake. It's not me you're helping, just help him. The fans are 1.2 plus so they can add up to 1.5. I don't have any means to raise that cash mimi kama mama yake friends i have but sina hiyo hawana hiyo capability ya ku raise your do that's why i'm here appealing to you mm. help baby ryan apate usaidizi so that he can walk again mm. thank you mm. thank you mm. okay